How are we all doing ladies and gentlemen? Cameron Stewart calling in here from the mobile office, the uh, Ford Ranger heading up to, uh, well I'm actually in Auckland, uh, so heading out to Mission Bay. So I haven't been on and done a video in a while, I've, uh, I've actually been a bit crook. Um, I had the bloody flu, got bron bronchitis and all the rest of it, so I've uh, been recovering from that, H had the severe case of man flu. So uh, only just recovering from that now, so I thought I'd just get on here and uh, and just do a quick video. Since I, uh, I love um, talking to myself on camera, I thought I'd get on here and smash one out. So I hope you're all having an awesome day, wherever you are in the world. Um, just wanted to get on here, and, and as the title of, of this video says, our thoughts control our actions. And I think, you know, through the, the years or my and my the experience and the things that are different things that I've done, you know, learning to control your thought patterns is absolutely key to getting success or moving forward with your life. What I'm seeing more and more today is people just don't know how to control their thinking. They overwhelm themselves. And the reason why I'm teaching this to you guys is I can also do that too. It's easy to get overwhelmed and look at all the negative things that are going on instead of looking at the positive things that are going on in life. So the thing is, the key in life is to focus on the things that you really want. Focus on the things that are in your control. You know, and that's what's in control of your own actions, going out there and making things happen. But what we tend to do as human beings, because we're very complex, aren't we? We, we, we feed our minds, we listen to the news, we watch what's going on uh, out there in society, and we, we can, it's easy to get put down into a negative headspace. And that's why controlling your thought patterns is so abs is absolutely vital to moving forward with your life. And uh, I, I know over the years, see the thing is, th this is a prime example of, of what I'm saying here. Opportunity is all around us. Everywhere we look, there is opportunity. There's business opportunities here. There's real estate investment opportunities here. There's um, opportunities to start sport and become very good at it if you're willing and committed. There's so many opportunities out there in society today, but the reason why a lot of us don't see those opportunities or take those opportunities, opportunities is because our thought pattern is terrible. Our programming, the way we think, what we do on a daily basis, you know, what we fill, fill our mind with on a daily basis is what makes us think the way we do. And that's why controlling your thought pattern or controlling you know, the way you think is so key. And look, by the way, if you're a bit down and out in life right now, it's very hard to listen to someone. And when someone tells you when you're a bit down and out that you've just got to learn to control your thinking. If someone had told me that back when I was a bit down and out, I probably would have punched them. So I understand that it's very hard to take that information on board when you're not feeling 110%. But all I can say is, is it actually true? The more and more you hear that, eventually when you figure out what's going on in your own mind, you'll figure out that actually the world's not actually that bad. There's a lot of stuff going on. There's a lot of really good positive stuff happening. And there's a lot of things that you can do to change your life if you want to. But what stops us from moving forward is our, the way we think, the way we, our self-talk. You know, I've looked over the years, even though I've had some success in areas of my life, there's been areas of my life that I've um, been, I, I've let myself down. and. The reason that that's happened is because I've had a bad self-talk. Although from the outside you look like everything's going really well, inside what's going on in your own mind and what you're saying to yourself is what's going to is what affects you and and stops you from moving forward. And that's that's absolutely key to moving forward and, and getting success in anything is just learning to stop the the, the, the negative um, talk inside your mind. Start talking things into existence, start focusing on the things that you really do want, you know, your daily habits, what you do on a daily basis, basis is what's going to create you and help you become a more efficient human being, so understand, if you get excited about where you're going, then you understand and have clarity around what it is that you want, g'day Matt, how are you champ, we'll try and catch up today, if you'll get clarity around what it is you want, and you're willing to go out there and take action, you're willing to take advice from someone that's maybe got some runs on the board, you'll get a result too. But the problem is with most people is they won't listen to other people. The reason being is someone will show them an idea, someone will, um, uh, you know, the, for example, um, a, a lot of property people I've dealt with, uh, potential clients or buyers over the years, haven't gone and bought a house for, um, 
because they've been scared, oh, it's too much money or whatever the case may be. Now, if you rewind that back four years ago and you look at those prices of the houses today, those people would have done extremely well if they had actually bought at that period of time. But they didn't make the decision and today they're still renting. The reason being is what happens is they get all of this negative talk, they start to listen to the masses, they start to listen to, oh, the market's going bad or whatever the case may be, and they get this negative programming and, and in turn they don't make a decision. So understand, it doesn't matter what it is that you're doing right now, if you don't have your internal thinking correct, your programming, the way you, the way you, um, you know, talk yourself in your mind. You've got. If you don't have that right, and you're you're thinking negative thoughts, you're thinking oh, I'm useless. Oh, you know, all the stuff that we do, we can be so analytical of ourselves. What we've got to do is we've got to look at the good things about ourselves and focus on those. Focus on where we're going, and the results will come. So that's a really short video from me today. I hadn't done one for a while, so I just really wanted to get on here and get back on the back on the bandwagon because what I love about doing the videos. Uh, not only um, is it, hopefully it adds value to someone out there, but it also helps me because what it does is it teaches me and it makes me accountable to practice what I'm saying. And that's absolutely key in life. If you say you're going to do something, go out there and do it. See, because most people won't, and that's why they are where they are today. So have an awesome, awesome day. It's a balmy 17 degrees here in Auckland City today. The sun's shining. It couldn't get much better. So have an awesome day. And we'll see you all at the top. Cheers.